find an equation of the tangent line of the graph f of theta equals tangent theta at the point pi over 4, 1. Okay, so if I'm supposed to come up with an equation of a tangent line, a tangent line is just a linear function, I'm going to want to use point slope. So I will pass back that mini quiz we had you guys do and one of the questions was like this. I think there's still one person who needs to take it, but I will give it back to you guys when I see you next week. Um, but this seemed to be what you guys struggled with the most. Some of you did fine on it and then put your answer as slope intercept, which is okay, but that's more work. So I wouldn't recommend it. But to get the equation, uh, they gave us x1, y1. So the easy part is plugging those two in. They gave us the point. That's not really calculus. The calculus is trying to figure out the slope at that instant. So slope basically means derivative. So what is the derivative of tangent? Secant squared. Secant squared. And then so then what is the derivative at pi over 4? What do you think? Okay, I, I don't know. I shouldn't ask that question because I don't know the answer yet. Okay, so secant is the reciprocal of cosine. What's the cosine at pi over 4? And then this is squared because it's cosine squared. So if I squared so the square root of 2, I get 2. If I square 2, I get 4. So I get the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2, at pi over 4, secant squared ends up being 2. OK with that? Yes. I don't know that you need to do it in that many steps. But you can. Now, the reason why we make you struggle through those book assignments a little bit and the simplifying is it's great. You know what a tangent line is. You know where to find the parts. We want you to be able to finish and get the question right. So I look at all these choices. None of them look like mine. That doesn't mean I did anything wrong necessarily. But we could distribute this to, and then I could compare. None of the choices have fractions in them. So I would really like to maybe multiply this guy by 2 so he doesn't have a fraction. So multiply everything by 2 so that you're like multiplying both sides by the same thing. And then if we start to compare, it looks like on the right side, if I leave 4x there and I subtract the 2y over, and then if I add this pi over and leave this negative 2 over there, I get 4x minus 2y is pi minus 2, which is choice C. Is that enough there?